selling quality cigar, El Producto, the cigar with natural mildness. El Productos are made with special tobaccos that are aged for years, mellowed in wood for natural mildness. Brother, you never had it so mild. And by Gillette, maker of the 195 adjustable razor and the remarkable super blue blade that gives all but unbelievable shaving comfort. Foamy, the cream of all instant lathers. And Race Guard, the new power spray deodorant for men. Welcome from down, and coming in on the far side is opponent from Philadelphia, Von Clay. Jones, of course, is undefeated, having won all 18 of his fights. He uh, sort of ran out of opponents in the light heavyweight division and uh, knocked out Pete Rademacher, a, a heavyweight, not too very long ago. Now let's go up to the center of the ring again and Johnny Addy. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Here are the ring officials assigned by the New York State Athletic Commission. The judges, Tony Rossi, Frank Forbes, timekeeper, George Bannon, counting for the knockdowns, Johnny Lobianco, referee for the main event, Al Burrow. Ten rounds from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, wearing White trunks weighing 181, Von Clay. Von Clay. His opponent from New York City wearing black trunks. He weighs the same, 181, undefeated Doug Jones. Main event, 10 rounds, another bout to follow. Uh, both of you boys have boxed in New York before, and you know the rules. I expect you to break clean and clinch it when I tell you to step back, step back yourself. You mention the knockdown, the man scoring the knockdown go to a neutral corner. The man scoring the knockdown. Three knockdowns in one round, and it's about right there. Shake hands down, good luck. Already for what should be power-packed punching action and good boxing here at the Madison Square Garden Arena tonight. Doug Jones wearing the black trunks, Von Clay wearing the white trunks. Scheduled for 10 rounds or less. There's the bell for round one. Von Clay realizes that Jones is the better boxer and will be throwing Jones can win either way. He can box or he can knock out. but he looks quite a bit taller than Don Clay. Drop left hands by Doug Jones. Just uh, 22 years old, all the stars. 24. One minute to go in round one. There are two previous fights, one by Jones on split decision. Hot tempered all the way. Jones has called 
called on many of the good punches in his repertory so far. Hook, jab, straight right, uppercut. Clay just plods in, waiting for the good one. Ten seconds to go in round one. There's the bell. Coming up to round two, I don't know if you noticed it, but uh, Jones rocked Von Clay just a little bit at the bell ending round one. Here's round two. Jones in the black, Von Clay in the white trunk. Clay has the only victory over Chick Calderwood, England's fine light heavyweight. Now Jones is showing his fine boxing style. He's not giving Clay any rest. by Clay, but it didn't connect. Vaughn is just going to have to bide his time. Maybe get Jones off balance. About a minute to go in round two. resilient fighter. He takes a good punch. He got off the floor to knock out Cook Bell the first time and knocked him out again in return. There's the bell ending round two. Again, uh, Jones scores at or just after the bell. We go back to the corner with uh, Doug. Manager Alex Koskowitz is not in the corner. Facing him out in the center of the ring is Raleigh Heckmer. Jimmy August, uh, who trains many fighters, is on the outside of the ring on the right. And trainer Howard Reed of uh, Doug Jones is on the left-hand side. Howard is the one leaning in, doing all the talking and uh, telling Jones how he is or isn't doing. On the other side of the ring, we have Von Clay, the Philadelphian, and his manager, Anthony Graziano, also is here, but not in the corner. Uh, facing him is his trainer, Johnny Hutchins. On the outside of the ring on the left, the stocky fellow is Jack Puggy, just going down. And uh, Joey Reed is on the right-hand side as Von Clay gets ready for round three here at Madison Square Garden. There's the bell for round three. Clay in the white trunks, Jones in black.
play is tough. Jones had him, but Vaughn made him back up. As we said earlier, Clay has just got to wait because Jones is a much superior boxer. Clay has just got to wait to drop that bomb in there, and he did. One minute to go in round three. Jones was wobbled. It's pretty tough in game two. Ten seconds to go in round three. There's the bell. Yankee Major. Coming up to round four now, Von Clay and White, Doug Jones in the black trunk. A little bit more than a minute to go in round four. Both boys are shortening up on their punches. Jones let himself get caught on the ropes and he paid for it there.
There's the bell ending round four. The boys have had a tendency to battle after the bell, and Al Ball had to go to their corners after the third round and tell them that. This bout took a radical turn midway in round three. Jones seemed to be winning it ever so slightly, but winning nevertheless, and uh, was giving Clay a pretty good going over on the ropes uh, during round three when Clay suddenly nailed him with a solid punch and started coming on, and I'd say it was a pretty even fight at this point in the proceedings. Here's something of interest to all sports fans. Saturday is sports day on ABC. The best in boxing, the best in bowling on Make That Spare After the Fight and ABC's Wide World of Sports. Next week, you'll be watching the World Water Skiing Championships in Long Beach, California. The following week, ABC Sports takes you inside professional football with an exhibition game at San Diego. Coming up, NCAA football, the American Football League schedule, and the Orange Bowl Classics on ABC, television's number one network for sports. Round five coming up. Very even fight. Von Clay of Philadelphia in white. Doug Jones of New York, undefeated after 18 fights in black. Both boys weighing 181 pounds. about half over. round five. There's a bell for round six, a very interesting and close fight at Madison Square Garden. Doug Jones, Black Trunks, Von Clay and White. Clay from Philadelphia, Jones from New York, both weighing 181 pounds. Both boys are ranked in the light heavyweight division, but they're fighting as heavyweights tonight. 181 being six pounds over the light heavyweight limit.
Jones put on a good flurry there, but Clay seems to be able to take his best punches. At least he has until now. Resume the offensive, which you relinquished after the third round. They're in Clay's corner. Or rather, in Jones' corner, I'm sorry. Not that it matters. Al Ball, the referee, getting the part. pretty good in this round. Clay trying to move in to drop another bomb on him. Zip has gone out of Clay's punches. Jones is very sharp. And there's the bell ending round six. Next Saturday, the fight of the week moves to Florida for a 10-round lightweight battle between Carlos Ortiz and Douglas Bayon in the Miami Beach Auditorium. It will bring together a clever boxer and a man who can really hit. 24-year-old Ortiz fights out of New York City in the shop with either hand. He's an ex-junior weight battle between Carlos Ortiz and Douglas Bayon in the Miami Beach Auditorium. It will bring together a clever boxer and a man who can really hit. 24-year-old Ortiz fights out of New York City in the shop with either hand. He's an ex-junior welterweight champion and has won 33 of his 38 professional bouts, 12 by knockout. Doug Bayon is 24 years old and hails from Santiago, Cuba. In 30 bouts, he has won 24, including 13 KOs, and lost only two. He's a former international Golden Gloves champion and won 52 out of 58 as an amateur. Next Saturday on the Fight of the Week, Carlos Ortiz goes against Doug Bayon, presented by El Producto, America's largest selling quality cigar, and the Gillette Safety Razor Company. Here's round seven. There have been no knockdowns in the fight, by the way. Clay the white trunk, Jones the black trunk. Both weighing 181. Jones at six feet tall, a half inch taller. Scoring here in New York is on a round basis. I would guess it's fairly close at this moment. Clay may have hit John Jan. Now he rocked him. He failed to follow it up. Good eyeing him. I guess Jones painted him out of his position.
to go around seven. Don Clay had so much follow through on that punch, he turned himself around. Finished very, very strong in round seven. Clay was in real trouble. There have been no knockdowns in the fight. Clay is in white trunks, Jones in black. This is the first real punch of the fight. One, one good punch can turn it around, but Jones is hitting with more authority now, with more snap. Player looks particularly good in the middle round, seems to be slowing down. Two minutes left in this round. and Clay comes bounding back with a big one. <laughs> About a minute left in round eight. Telling Jones no hitting after the foul when Clay came around him and <laughs> tapped him on the noggin. I mean Jones. A little by play here in the garden. Incidentally, we had a uh, Sterling Carter preliminary box tonight. The bout that was just ending as we came on the air was a caulker. Fernando Barreto, the Brazilian welterweight champ, outpointed Golden Glove champ Vince Shomo in a welterweight bout in eight rounds. Billy Daniels of Brooklyn. Uh, outpointed Claude Chapman of New York City in a good six-round heavyweight bout. Billy Daniels winning by a split decision. Uh, Julie Livinati of Brooklyn defeated Dennis Heffernan of Philadelphia and a four-rounder. These boys are middleweights, as are Harold Richardson and Kelvin Scott. 
Uh, Richardson from New York defeated Scott from Trinidad. Here's the bell for round nine. And if you notice closely the last two rounds, Jones seems to be the much the fresher of the two. Clay looked real good in the middle round. There have been no knockdowns, however. Jones has won 18 and lost none. Starting to unload on Clay. Clay's hope would seem to be one of those big punches again. good shape to fight at this pace through nine or ten rounds. One minute to go in round nine. Took a quiet look at the clock while in the trench. seconds to go in round nine. There's the bell. Well, the final round now of a very good contest. Doug Jones of New York, Von Clay of Philadelphia, Al Ball, the referee, having them touch gloves. Both boys weighing 181. Jones in black, Clay in white trunks. There have been no knockdowns in the fight. As we saw, Jones opened strongly in the first two rounds. Clay came on in the next three, and then Jones came on again. Jones putting an undefeated skein of 18 straight on the line. He's never been beaten. If Jones is the winner, he most certainly will clamor for a bow with Archie Moore or Hal Johnson for one of the light heavyweight titles. Clay's in trouble now. Two minutes left in the round. Little by little, Jones has worn him down. Gamely is desperately trying to throw in one good punch that could turn it his way. A minute and a half left in the round. Well, that's 
Ray rolls pretty good when he's in trouble. He got out of the cup of storm. And he scored himself, but he didn't seem to follow up. And a clear drop. And he's down. Two, three, About 55 four, seconds to go. Five, five six, seven, six. eight. He just got up at eight. Let's see if they let him go on. Right? Are they going to stop it? He just barely got up to the count of eight. The referee, Al Bowl, is stopping the contest. <laughs> With about 45 seconds to go, we haven't gotten the time yet. Dr. Samuel Swetnick is going in to look at the man. Here's the time. The time, two minutes, 21 seconds of the tenth round. Referee stops about the winner by a TKO, Doug Jones. Doug Jones winning his 19th fight. We'll tell you more about it in a moment. Remember ABC every Saturday for the fight of the week. The referee says...